so excited because this is all of the stuff so far that I've got for Fiji. And it's really exciting because, like, I found, you know, more little kids' clothes that were super duper duper on sale and um, little nighties. Um, so not only was I able to get, like, the leaf pads and things, but, I mean, I was able to get them, like, little loopsy dolls and, like, all of that. Um, you know, and so each kid has their own bag, and um, I'm still about eight bags short um, because I don't have enough baby blankets. And then this amazing place has offered to, it's amazing, they offered to donate 28 stuffies for all of the kids. And every time I go to Fiji, they're going to do that. I'm just so touched beyond belief. I mean, I started crying. It was pretty crazy. Um, but I just, I couldn't be happier. Um, and like these are for like the little, little babies. So it's like, here are some toddler toys. And I got every single kid a different baby blanket. So that's super awesome and fun. The babies, I'm not getting as much stuff. Um, although, if you look over here, you will notice that there are, in fact, baby wipes and stuff. So that would be really cool. But um, right now, it's really exciting. And so, like, all of these clothes right here are, like, things that I've had for filming and stuff and they've only been worn once in some cases not at all oh and then all of the eight-year-olds um not eight-year-old girls but all of the eight older teenage girls i got them bathing suits too so this is pretty awesome because you know they just they're all in different sizes, but they're all different. So that's like super important because I want them all to feel like, you know, individuals and just, they're so cute and they were Speedos. So it was really amazing. Like it's a really good brand and I got good deals on them. Um, so I'm just, I'm just overjoyed with happiness. Um, these things are so cute and I've got like Easter dresses and communion dresses and some dresses that I had custom made for the website that I'm like they haven't been worn yet but you know what these kids probably need them more so I am just there's actually a whole bunch of stuff here that I haven't delegated to anyone yet how I'm gonna get all of this stuff to Fiji is beyond me honestly but it's a good cause, right? And I don't have to eat. I'll just bring some protein bars and hopefully live off of that. So it'll be good. Um, and then I can't find the Mickey Mouse stickers yet, but I got Minnie Mouse stickers for the girls' room and Mickey Mouse, so Minnie and Mickey. Um, so that's really awesome. Oh my gosh, like, this is just going to be amazing. And I keep finding all these cute little things for little boys. So I found, like, little glow-in-the-dark stars that are dinosaurs that you put on the wall. And it's really awesome because, well, you put them on the wall and then they go on the dark. So, and then I've got some cutesy little bags for some of the older ones. And then I've got, for the younger girls, I've got little lunch tins and cute little, you know, Disney stuff. Because they, they kind of have knockoff stuff in Fiji a little bit. So, yeah. I mean, I just, I want them to have the very best and not hand-me-down clothes and, and all of that. So, I just keep coming up with more stuff. I found little pajama sets for each of the, the kids. Excuse me, I hiccuped. Um, and so I'm just having a really good time. Like, a really good time. It's 
pretty amazing. I think I'm pretty blessed, actually. <laughs> yeah. Um, there's about eight more bags that are downstairs where they're just not finished putting all of the stuff in. I have a 14-year-old boy, and I have no idea what to, to get him other than the Lego set. I really do need to spend some more money on him, but maybe I can get him some clothes or something because I'm pretty much getting everybody else clothes and uh, except for the, the little girls because I would go nuts getting them stuff. I mean, it's just like, wow. I have no self-control, so um, I've spent way too much money. In fact, I've probably spent $1,000 of my own money with this, but once I got started and I saw what the deficit was, I couldn't help myself. Like, I just, I just needed it to happen, so. So anyways, yeah, I'm pretty excited. I can't remember the last time I was so, so excited. Um, you guys will probably all be watching this by the time I'm in Fiji, but I have a GoFundMe page. Um, you can look under Fiji Orphanage, and if you guys want to donate any money while I'm there, that would be wonderful because then I can buy diapers and um, not have to bring that stuff over with me, um, you know, when I come from Denver to Los Angeles and Los Angeles to Nandi, um, Fiji, obviously. Um, so you guys can donate, and... Um, yeah, I'm just, this is an amazing experience for me. I knew that when I turned 30 that it was going to be a big year and I've been looking forward to it forever and I just can't, I'm not getting birthday presents. Everyone that I know has been instructed to donate to the Fiji cause and it's just, it's amazing like how much money we're raising because just today we made 900 mark you know, that everybody else has donated to me, and so, yeah, it's awesome. I'm just like, oh my god, so awesome. <laughs> um, thanks for listening. Bye, everyone. Bye.